Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Hasra. If you're new here, let me tell you that on this channel, I make videos about personal development and I share my experiences of living abroad. So if this is the kind of content that you are interested in knowing about, then please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss an update. Depression or major depressive disorder is highly prominent in today's world. Because of our overwhelming and hectic schedules, the stress level is higher than ever and that has increased the chances of suffering from clinical depression. But I hear a lot of people say that they're feeling depressed or that they're suffering from depression but most of them have never been to a doctor and made sure that they're suffering from clinical depression. Most of those people are just feeling unmotivated or are going through a tough phase in their lives. So it's important to understand if you're just feeling sad or are actually going through clinical depression. And that is my purpose of making this video so we can talk about depression and find ways of avoiding it. According to psychologists, Depression is severely bad mood or sad feeling that lasts for two or more weeks. It is accompanied by feeling of loneliness, worthlessness, lethargy and lack of interest in daily routine tasks. One feels lack of pleasure in anything that he or she does and depression leads to sleep and appetite disturbances. We all go through challenging phases in our lives and there's no reasonable explanation for why some people suffer from depression and others don't. It typically lasts for up to 12 weeks and if I talk about facts then depression is more common in women and it is highly heritable which means that if your ancestors or people in your family have suffered from clinical depression depression before, then chances of you suffering from it are a lot higher. It basically involves patterns of highly negative thoughts and your inability to overcome them. Sadly, the most extreme consequence of depression is suicide, which is why it's so important to talk about it openly and get rid of it as soon as possible. When someone is going through depression, then they feel like all the joy, happiness and pleasure are sucked right out of their lives, which makes life unbearable and miserable but there is help available if you are feeling depressed then i recommend you talk to someone about it right away but in case you can't find somebody who you can trust and talk to then please know that help is available online i will be providing you with some helpline numbers and websites that exist in india and Canada in the description box below. Now that I hope that you've gotten some more information and better clarity of what depression is, I'm gonna talk about ways of how you can fight it. So stay tuned and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. One great way to fight depression in your life is to have a purpose. You need to keep yourself involved in some kind of work. As humans, we need to feel reassured and useful. We need to know that we are doing something that is worth doing. I don't recommend that you become a workaholic and have too much on your plate all the time, but I do suggest that keeping busy is a great way to lead your life. Keeping busy is a great way to keep your mental and physical health in check. In Hindi, we say khali dimag shaitan ka ghar, which basically means that an unoccupied mind is often home for negative and toxic thoughts. Even if you don't need to work for money, I recommend that you still keep a part-time job or start a small business to keep yourself busy. And of course, some extra income doesn't hurt anyone. Also, it has been proven that people who earn their own money are known to have higher sense of self-worth and confidence. And these are two great qualities that help fight depressive thoughts. Still, if you're unable to find a suitable job for yourself, then I recommend that you start getting more involved in your community. Start doing some voluntary work. Even getting involved in a hobby is a great way to keep yourself occupied. The basic idea behind all this is for you to be able to build a routine for yourself so that you can stay busy and keep negative thoughts at par. Keep your mind occupied instead of getting indulged in negative thoughts that will always be there to surround you. Another thing that I suggest that you do in order to stay away from depression is that you stay active. This is more like an addition to my first point. You must have observed that you feel happier and more relaxed when you exercise. That's because physical activities stimulate brain chemicals like dopamine that leave you feeling happier, 
more relaxed and less anxious. And when you keep fit, you tend to look better and that generally gives a boost to your confidence. You must have heard that when you look good, you feel good. So I suggest that you indulge in some physical activity on a regular basis. Join the gym or join yoga classes or meditation classes and there are some great options available online. Or simply go for a walk or a jog for 30 minutes every day. Any form of recreational and physical activity will help you lead a a better life. Depression causes you to withdraw from life. But when you get involved in some physical activity, then you're forced to get out more and take part in life. So stay more active in order to avoid depression. The final point that I want to cover in this video is to nourish your soul and body. If you think about it, all these three points are interrelated. When sadness or grief hits, then most people start consuming too much alcohol. Some even start using drugs. Others start indulging in emotional emotional eating and empty tubs after tubs of ice cream and stuff their mouths with every sugary stuff that they can find. This habit of eating your emotions can never do you any good. For those who are new to this concept, emotional eating is the habit of eating in order to suppress or soothe negative emotions. Instead of letting yourself getting indulged in emotional eating, you should force yourself to maintain a healthy and balanced diet. After all, you become what you consume. And eating healthy is a way of taking care and respecting yourself. So stop feeding on garbage and start making healthier eating choices. Additionally, just like our bodies, our minds also need nourishment. And we can nourish our soul and mind by consuming good content. Completely cut off toxic content and if possible, toxic people from your life. Personally, I read a lot and watch documentaries in order to nourish my mind. You can do the same or find your own ways of keeping your mind and body healthy and calm. If you think about it, all the three points that I talked about in this video are very correlated. So I suggest that you try them all at the same time and stay away from clinical depression. It's important that we all understand that this is a disease that is fast growing and we need to take effective and preventive steps to stay away from it. I will be making a lot more videos for you on personal development. I hope to see you in my next one. Thank you and take care.